So um, in the last panel, we spoke about, you know, the big picture, right? We spoke about investments coming into India. Uh, and Mr. Vedhanathan also spoke about retail investment. Now let's talk about the underserved segments, right? And uh, um, But uh, before we begin, uh, let's just have, a, you know, one of the systemic shifts that's happening in the country right now is how consumers today are more interested in equity and mutual fund and rather than savers. So how is this, uh, you know, shift impacting the banking industry? And what strategies can banks adopt to this changing trend? Yeah. See, in the sense uh, today, customers will have to always look for maximizing their return. Right. So, in view of that, in the available uh, various instruments, they would also see what is the risk trade-off. So, if they have to move the resources which are, they have given the bank as a deposit, and later it goes to a partially for mutual fund or equity. In a sense, they are looking for better return. And that would also, so in a, we ourselves also, banks now, advise the customers that what should be their planning for a better mix of uh, what you call saving instruments or uh, investment instruments. But one thing is that the customers will have to be always given that much importance in the banking uh, sector and we must understand the depositors franchise value, customers franchise value and we cannot take the customers for granted. So even though the customers are looking for safety, security and sovereign, of course a few public sector banks are sovereign but in some are of course it is owned in a private also but the safety security is also important. And uh, inflation adjusted return on capital or their investment is a very important. So during the COVID actually, what has happened is uh, uh, inflation was uh, even though high, the Reserve Bank has to bring down the interest rate very low just to give a boost to the economy. They also pumped in uh, 12 lakh crores of cash to the system. Now, when the inflation is suppose average 6% and you are... Uh, uh, rate of interest by the RBI is 4, banks took the advantage of the liquidity and provided very low rate of interest for the fixed deposits. I was at uh, that time, of course, I am a retired banker in a way. I was also looking for maximizing my return. So that being the case, it was a negative return. So sometime in that process, the banks took for slightly longer period without the proper return to the depositors. So it, it has been taken advantage by the other uh, what you call fund managers and others by uh, suggesting them why not you go for mutual fund and uh, also made some of them went for direct equity and one more thing is the young generation which are coming today they are also looking for even at the cost of risk some fancy return so in view of that they are also today Banks, they use as the mode by which their, these investments take place. But one thing is to be certain that you should also be aware that ultimately the funds come to the banking system. Even though it has gone to the mutual fund and they have crossed 50 lakh crores now. Their uh, overall uh, portfolio and uh, thanks to their uh, big advertisement campaign by the mutual fund association, it has reached to the, as you rightly said, even at the village level or the agricultural owner or everywhere, they are also now wanting to know what is this mutual fund. It must have reached. That is a good thing. Happening is good. But at the same time, because the yesterday and all, you know, people are enjoying 75,000 index. But the index doesn't take much time to come down also. When in COVID... <laughs> We have seen 25,000 also. And I have started the career when I was a treasury head. We have seen 3,000 index and lot of uh, equity investments were to be written off by me. Because uh, that time, no, all the technology companies were doing, everybody has invested, but ultimately didn't do. But that again, another phase. But we are not thinking of that period. But that is where somebody who well versed, he himself can invest 10%. So what is that percentage you want to allocate? Even in your own public uh, provident fund, the government allowed only 
some 15 percent to equity and balance in the debt because they also would like to see and even in debt also quite a lot of people have by going for higher rate the same some big big names also i can say but we will not tell the name suddenly collapsed and the bond which you thought it is a good return except public sector private also may have even in fixed deposit of corporate also you may face problem so to what extent i am also today i have being not in the bank i would also to say that a passive somebody who is not really wanting risk bank is the most important source of resources but if you would like to have some higher uh, return at the same time some risk you should necessarily take uh, this equity or bond also or the mixed that is a where no mutual fund because they know much more than and they deal with the day to day matter so they are better in a position to uh, get a higher return so in a view of that but we need not worry this is the only but the only thing is the other side uh, individuals are also encouraged to go for more and more uh, debt means contracting credit and uh, it has so happened that the savings at the general level now has come down where we are going towards us or developed country where individuals are making lot of debt so debt is a required so long as the debt is used for productive use but if the credit is not used so to that extent you have to also be sure that the saving habit has to go, go more people have to the people at the bottom also as you mm -hmm. rightly said they have to be conveyed as the saving for current for future even young generation because the prime age of your life is some time where you earn very well but after some age you may not be really valued in any of your organization so that period whatever you save when you young young that will come because the current consumption the government wants you to do lot of consumption madam said high brand all that or something you know we do good investment what you call encouraging but you have to know where our we can stretch and to that extent always money in your hands in the way of bank or anywhere that is the most source of your safety rather than you are depending on somebody else will help or somebody will help parents will help nobody will help you have to save for yourself yes okay, madam thank you so that was um, um thanks mr narendra uh, before that we do have some women in the audience so how many of you do uh, do you invest and overall in the audience how many of you invest in mutual fund oh, stocks oh, yes. very interesting okay um so riddhi uh, my next question to you and before um, you know i ask you about um, if women are a part of this whole india's um, wealth creation story i would like to um, like you to talk a bit about lakshmi and you know because that will actually help put context to you know when you answer the question yeah thank you okay. sonal so lakshmi i'm one of the co-founders of lakshmi uh, lakshmi was started uh, by preeti rathi gupta she comes from two decades of experience in the wealth creation industry uh, they set up anand rathi doing exceedingly well in stock broking wealth uh, insurance as an nbfc various things and what she realized is women are not a part of the story women are not a part of the growth story they are not using everything that is happening to the today for their own financial security so that's how lakshmi came about it's a financial platform for every woman in india to ensure she builds her safety net and achieves her financial goals and basically gets uh, like you know we were talking about fraud earlier and there's so much happening to really provide a safe space for women to achieve her goals so that's about lakshmi and i'm so happy that you know you in india today is asking this question because so far when we were talking about underserved it was a lot about rural india and the farmers and which is very true but and i use this line often 50% of our country is women and the balance 50% is given birth to by them and still they are not a part of online platforms there are so many great companies uh, building technology but less than 10% of their audience is women right uh, so are women a part of this wealth creation journey and that's a great question because we did a survey of 4000 plus women with access my india right and they are the front runners of research in india and it was so sad to see that women are fabulous savers fabulous budgeters whether you give them 5000 or 50000 to run their household they will make sure everyone is happy all the bills are paid their children have everything their husbands are happy their in-laws are happy 
but they don't plan for their own finances and what they do save right they will put away some money in their cupboards or in their savings account and women are great for banks because they have all their money in savings accounts or fixed deposits but the problem is that money is uh, losing value to inflation uh, so they are great budgeters they are great savers super smart savers very organized fabulous multitaskers but very few are accessing the capital markets and capital markets are wealth creators right so every woman should have a retirement plan but as per our survey of 4000 plus women 98% of women had no retirement plan i mean that's really scary and if they invest only in an fd their money is actually losing value of over time so they use they, they they're working so hard to earn every rupee or save every rupee but not accessing the capital markets you it's very difficult to build a good enough retirement plan and i plan. believe this 98% is not limited to rural india it's urban india not at all women absolutely. demographic absolutely right it's urban in india in fact when we did the survey tier 2 tier 3 city women were slightly more investing in the capital markets than urban women and our survey was across uh, tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 towns towns across ages across personas married and married with kids without kids so it was across india and again like i said it uh, what we're building at lakshmi is for every woman in india so it's not for the hni is not for rural but for every woman in india even if she can just save 100 rupees a month very interesting um so um you know um as we um you know speak about um you know um about the whole gender lens to investment um uh, mr narendra um you know i would like to ask you now about um you know uh, in the earlier panels also there was this whole conversation about technology right and technology to some extent has democratized access right uh but having said that uh banks still uh, i mean yeah, there is this reservation and uh, i mean i think uh in the earlier panel mr anand did speak about how banks have actually become conservative right uh but uh, how what do we now need to do to make credit more accessible because there is so much of alternative data now available and a lot of times it is said that smaller businesses women who actually need loans and productive loans do not get access to it uh, over to you sir yeah. yeah in a way the the maximum information about uh, our uh, whatever individuals no the banks possess that that is because of their overall dealings and how where and what they do with their money and how they earn the money all that no so in the life cycle of customers we uh, our banking gets engaged so when you know that uh, the life cycle then uh, you will also know where are all they have the gap where they can be get the necessary input of credit and that will uh, enhance their uh, value proposition and also their uh, business proposition if they are in business if they are in uh, as he rightly said earlier also if they are in uh, uh, self employed or if they are salary employed everywhere in the life cycle also there will be demand for additional funds somebody may be wanting to send his son for higher studies abroad naturally uh, even a villager today wants the children to get very good education now if that is the case as a rural branch manager through technology or through uh, personal visits along with this agriculture and allied activities what else could be done in his house with giving get good education and the children either by the abroad coming or from indian higher studies coming getting into the mode for urban urban life and getting extra remittance either nri remittance or this remittance to the family family will also little later will like to change their house why should the rural hut you know where uh, uh, no no problem there is a, so depending on the climate and other things they need to change their house so can that be again another input bank can give or if the rural uh, today he is only fam- on the Uh, what you call uh, the agriculture uh, seasonal variation why not we engage enc- encourage them to go for allied activities like you know dairy farming poultry farming sheep rearing all that or somebody also government is giving aspirational district one district one product and they are also promoting rural uh, industries so why not the banker become that these schemes are there why not you take advantages so through technology 
through personal touch and in that the entire uh, the data available with the bank you can make the customer to get engaged in productive activity so that our their entire contribution to the gdp can go up so why you know, when i see this gdp growth really the underlying gdp growth is much much larger the or the potential for the gdp is much much larger so can the become bankers become little responsible enough that i am not only on the one side of the liability i am and i am only in the credit side a few customers no you have to necessarily ensure that your uh, that areas expanded whether in the women empowerment or in the rural uh, artisan empowerment or rural uh, agricultural empowerment rural micro industries empowerment and even in the slum area today if there can be economic activity provided to them they are also because they have also right to have a better life so in view of that banks has to little think little beyond the traditional level and with the change of technology will help them and analytics and other modes of artificial intelligence machine learning all that should be used for productiveness of the uh, their business proposition then the growth and the profitability of the bank can also go and bank can charge reasonable if he is earning he is willing to give today interest rate alone is not the criteria for a business interest is one part of that so even there of course competitive being there so in terms of our operational efficiency if you do you will be able to give much return to the depositors and also get better return from the your uh, lend means borrowers so that your profit margin or the can be maintained so in view of that nothing is today as a earlier no priority sector this everybody would have thought it is as a lab, very burden on the bank but i see whereas these are all very productive activity for the bank and every scheme of the government bank should get involved because without the bank's involvement today bank will expand to so much every activity economic activity there is a role for the bank thank you um so um and i guess this is actually the space where a lot of new age fintech companies and startups um you know have uh, actually um done commendable job uh, so lakshmi uh, um so riddhi uh, can you uh, talk to us about a bit about how a lot of platforms like yours have actually made even um not just investment journey but also credit accessible to women and what are what are these alternative lending models or even how when women access loans uh, you know what is the differentiation that normal traditional legacy business or uh, banks were not able to offer so i think there's a lot of things you're doing differently right first is support right and there's a lot of socio economic condition con- conditioning women are like we are not good money managers men are way better at managing money first is support and ensuring they have the right kind of people who will help them right kind of advice that they get on our platforms we have a community of women where they can go ask questions like you rightly said right there are good reasons to borrow for and not so good reasons so where there's an ecosystem of women which help you get that right support second is literacy we do a lot on literacy why is it important to build your credit score generally generally women think oh it's bad i don't want to borrow money what if they come after me my assets etc right but it's important to build your credit score what's a safe way to build it for the unknown like you said you know about child education you might need to borrow at some point so the right kind of literacy simplified literacy for underserved segments like women and the third is access yes i mean there is so many companies doing lending today but women actually they are not accessing financial platforms they are not reading the newspaper they are not listening uh, to a cnbc so how will they know that there are loans for them so really targeting women for their cohorts for example every woman has gold right so now peop- now bankers are approaching them we'll give you loan against your gold uh, and nps for women are super low so it's great for the women and it's also very profitable for banks secondly child education great it's very important for women every year so many women are struggling how will i get the fees for the year in advance as we want them to all go to international schools and expensive schools and every year's fees are doubling so you know you actually go to schools and say we have a platform where women or mothers can uh, apply for loans for your children you know and no mother is going to default on a loan when it's come through a school so really access and innovative products so that's what platforms like us are doing uh, to enable access to credit and it's very important you know to have that access for unknown events in your life or even for example everyone has wants to buy a home loan or get, get a house 
you know, and women being great borrowers can get that with better interest rates. So bringing them access, building them, bringing them knowledge on what is available in the market today is what fintechs like ours focus on. Um, so um, if there are any questions, I will not ask. Uh, okay, yes, we have a, a gentleman there. <laughs> I mean, the events are for the audience, yeah, yeah. isn't it? So, I know that 99% of the people like to speak in English. If I say in Hindi, I don't have to say anything. Please, please, please. Just say you're comfortable. In 1968, I had to open an account for 100 rupees in the bank. And in that time, when I went to the bank, I had to check the deposit on the bank, so I said, you should withdraw it from the bank. Before that, you won't get the money from the bank. आज तकरीबन 55 इयर्स हो गए हैं ये जानते हुए भी कि हमारे 60 परसेंट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ आवर कंट्री रूरल में है जैसा आप बताते हैं स्टेटिकल डेटा के हिसाब से आज भी वही सिचुएशन है जो कि सोमवार को अगर हम चेक डिपॉजिट करते हैं तो बोलते हैं बुधवार को आकर के पैसे लेके जाइए अब ये वो नया सूरज पूरा हिंदुस्तान देखना चाहता है कि इधर हम चेक डिपोजिट करें हर जो भी मिनिस्ट्री आती है जो भी एग्जीक्यूटिव आते हैं जो ही आई ऑफिसर्स आते हैं हमारे नीलेष जी से मेरा ये कम से कम पंद्रवा सेशन में उनका अटेंड कर रहा हूँ इससे ज्यादा भी हुए होंगे तो मैं ये समझता हूँ हिंदुस्तान में हाँ जी हाँ जी नीलेष जी जो बैठे हैं तो मैं नरेंद्र जी आपसे ये पूछना चाहता हूँ कि हिंदुस्तान में वो सूरज देखने कब मिलेगा कि इधर चेक डिपोजिट करे और दूसरे दिन या सेम डे पैसे मिल जाए अरे आपको मालूम नहीं अभी तो क्लियरिंग का सिस्टम है ना बहुत चेंज हो गया एग्री मैं आपकी सब बात से एग्री करता हूँ लेकिन का... मैं आज भी वही फेस कर रहा हूँ मंडे चेक डिपॉजिट इफ आई डिपॉजिट द चेक वैल्यू ऑन मंडे नहीं सेम थिंग आई रिपीट इफ आई डिपॉजिट द चेक ऑन मंडे आई विल गेट माई कैश आई कैन विदड्रॉ द कैश ओनली ऑन वेडनेस डे डू यू एग्री विद मी और नॉट एग्री दैट इज कॉल्ड अनक्लियर इफेक्ट दैट इज Today's clearing, what you have put by evening, it goes to the clearing, and in the early morning by three or four, no, the clearing takes place, and the amount gets credited to the account next day. Now, अभी ये capital market में अभी आपको मालूम हो गया ना अभी क्या आ गया? T T T में अभी settlement हो गया the same day. So, in view of that, even the banking system में that will come where the clearing can take place because it's all interoperability. Everywhere, no, your balance, the other bank can also be able to know from here. So, in you have that... Years ago, the situation was the same today. I understood that. They have said these uncleared effects. So, if someone has given credit in uncleared effects, then RBI will monitor that will amount to an implied overdraft. So, but manager is your opinion. कोई बिजनेस बैन आप जैसा कोई वेट करते हैं आज का पैसा आज ही पैसा मांगता है वो तो देता है देता है हिंदुस्तान में सेटिंग सब जगह चलता है वो आप जानते हैं मैं भी जानता हूँ आज क्या है बोलते हैं मैं सिस्टम की बात कर रहा हूँ आपको बताते हैं बिजनेस बैन सुबह कैश डिपॉजिट करता है और शाम को उसको यूटिलाइज करता है तो ये इधर हमारा कैश रहना सुबह से कैश काउंट करके काउंट करके काउंट करके इतना आदमी सुबह दस लाख आके आपका गजियाबाद और कितना बड़ा बड़ा ट्रेड सेंटर है ना करोड़ बाग ये सब पैसा लमाए किया शाम को यूटिलाइज किया पैसा हमारे लिए अकाउंट में कोई बैलेंस भी नहीं है और कोई यूज नहीं है देन व्हाट वी सेड नो सच अकाउंट्स यू हैव टू चार्ज देम हैवीली आल्सो दे आर यूटिलाइजिंग द बैंकिंग फॉर देयर बिजनेस विदाउट एनी कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द बैंक ये ऐसा नहीं है तो आप जैसे इंडिविजुअल डिपोजिटर आपने डिपोजिट किया आपको आप मेरा पास इपाएम मैनेजर आई वुड हैव अलाउड यू टू ड्रॉ मनी बिकॉज आई नो दैट मनी इज Definitely say. So, this Hindustan ki 60% nah, nah, population, yeah. rural population ko kaise apply hota yeah, hai? Yeah, oh, rural population itna paisa jama hai karne ke baad, ek mahina ke baad hi aata hai. Itna achcha customer hai. Wo to aap jaisa nahi hai. Haan. Usko, usko itna hi hai. Rural manager ko hamara paas aaya, ek nariyal paani laaya, achcha diya. He is so happy. I am just telling you. Aap hai na, we have worked even today. Even in, aapne dekhiye, koi rural bench mein, madam bolte na, self-help group ka. 60, 70, 100 ladies, one manager and one officer give them service. So, this is the rural branch of the work. You being, we sitting in this, Sophie tell, we will not understand. But they give that service. That is why he is like a VVIP. 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 
रूरल मैनेजर को इधर तो सिटी में कौन कौन इनवाइट करता है किसको भी नहीं मैनेजर को इनवाइट ही नहीं अब बोलते बड़ा बड़ा शादी होता है तो कोई मैडम बताया शादी में मैनेजर को बुलाएगा नहीं इधर तो वो तो इधर का तो मतलब का दिन ही है चलो जस्ट टेन सेकेंड वन शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज की पिट शॉर्ट Hi, uh, I'm Jigar Parikh. There are so many uh, different products now for the investment nowadays, right? There are so many ULIP plans, so many uh, uh, mutual funds, etc. Right? So it is really difficult to choose that which one is better, right? So that is where the the the, the banks are the m- most trusted one, right? Which yes. we can trust. Them. But there also means if I means I personally have two two different accounts from two two different bank, and both are saying the different things, right? So how would you suggest that means how to trust the bank and and which plan to go for right because there are two so what are the sources of validation which we can utilize to select our investment uh, funds no no ye ek hai as you rightly said the return and the safety security that is very important second the cultural value of the institution aapko udhar ka some of the institutions has a cultural value proposition and in spite of all being technology the human face of the employees that is also very important abhi hum kitna din bhi hum online karte hai sabhi theek hai but ek din aap bank gaye aur aapko kisne bhi introduce ek identify nahi kiya aur aapko kidhar bhi bolo to idhar se udhar jao udhar se udhar jao such bank no even though after next time you will transfer all the balance to somebody else so the human cultural human face cultural value then their uh, what you call response time then uh, what is the perception brand value they have built up and how some situation of difficulty like you know aap itna acha deposit rakha hai sabhi rakha hai ek din aake bolte i need particular this type of loan then the manager what is the attitude what is his positive mindset how he becomes a partner in your progress how he comes through the difficulty also when you are there how he suggest some other things may mirror life me i have given so many suggestions and uh, idea which are not relating to banking but people we have given and all of them even after so many years today they identify that aapne ye suggestion diya it has come very handy so you have to choose a banker another thing is just because of return or anything you know aapka 10 saal ka 15 saal ka 20 saal ka ek relation bank ka hai na some of the customers suddenly change to another bank you don't know that another to establish that relationship in another bank it will take time वो तो आपको एक दिन है ना बहुत अच्छा रेट गेट में दे के करेगा देर वेर सो मेनी टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग दी समाइम द फॉरन बैंक आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू से दे टुक द अकाउंट लेटर नो ऑन डिराइवेटिव दे मेड लॉट ऑफ लॉसेस एंड दीज कस्टमर्स वेर नॉट प्रॉपरली गाइडेड दे केम बैक टू द पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक दे सेट दैट सर आप ये आपका अकाउंट इवन दो यू चार्ज हायर आई वुड लाइक टू बी हेयर सो आई एम नॉट हैविंग एनी रेफरेंस टू पब्लिक प्राइवेट एंड ऑल बट एवरीबडी हैज टू बी ट्रू एंड दे शुड बी वेरी a transparent and they should give you proper suggestion okay thank you yeah. thank you thank you mr narendra and um, riddhi this was very interesting panel um, 